we have learned about mixtures and the types of mixtures. The mixture of iron filings and sulfur is an example of a solid solid mixture. In order for us to separate this mixture, we need to identify the characteristics of the constituents and identify those differences in those characteristics. The differences will help us identify which method we can use to separate. Iron filings, which is grey in colour, is mixed with sulphur powder, which is yellow, to give a mixture of iron filings and sulphur, which we say is grey yellow in colour. We have just taken the colour of iron filings and sulphur powder. But since they are together, we say green, yellow. In order to separate this mixture, we need to take note that iron filings can be attracted by a magnet, while sulfur powder cannot be attracted by a magnet. Substances that are attracted by a magnet are known as ferromagnetic substances. Since they can be attracted by a magnet, then when we bring a magnet close to the mixture, it will attract the iron filings and not the sulfur powder. And eventually, we separate, as we can see in this diagram. Next, separation of sodium chloride and iodine mixture. Sodium chloride is white in color. While iodine is in form of black crystals. Now when we take these two substances and mix them together, we will form a mixture that we can use to separate using a simple method which we call sublimation. In this case, we will take the mixture, place it in a glass beaker, cover the glass beaker with a watch glass, and add some cold water on the watch glass. And then we will heat the mixture and you will notice that iodine will turn directly from solid, which you can see here, into purple vapors. And the purple vapors will get deposited at the bottom of the glass, the watch glass. In the end, you will notice that sodium chloride will remain at the bottom of the beaker while the iodine will get deposited at the bottom of the watch glass. At the end, we could take out the watch glass and scrub off the iodine and would have separated the two substances. This method is called sublimation because iodine 
undergoes a process of turning directly from solid state to gaseous state that we call sublimation. Other substances that sublime when heated include iron 3 chloride, benzoic acid crystals, aluminium chloride, and solid carbon 4 oxide, which we usually call dry ice.